trying to meet a grizzly faint. And so that is the issue right there. So my friends are basically, you know, and, and they've, they're doing this both games, and, you know, there's some cool stuff in both games. But Sonic 2006, it was like Booms, in my opinion. Was, you know, middle section is better than Sonic 2006 is. Mostly because of the time travel stuff, okay? All that time travel stuff just messes everything up. There's just so many, you know, plot holes and things made because of this stuff. Because of all the time travel stuff. Here's, you know, basically here's how it goes. You got, uh, in Sonic Boom, you know, Sonic 2006, Everyone could actually, you know, if you had two two had two characters with chaos, each with a chaos control, they could use chaos control to make a time portal that they could control, you know, so they could end up wherever they wanted, whenever they wanted, you know. And there, there are several instances of this happening in the story, and it's annoying because it's like you, either, yeah, you know, both you know, Sonic friends and Mephilus could easily do that, and I'm like, yeah, Mephilus could easily won. My, my, my blanket is it. Mephilus could have easily won. You know, he has the ability to kill, stab Sonic, to kill Sonic. You know, probably could kill Shadow too. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, he has the ability to kill hedgehogs that are either as hard as steel or have a force field around, uh, energy field around him that he is. He could easily do it. But he doesn't. I don't know why. He just doesn't. Sonic and Friends could easily, you know, be like, yeah, how? Sonic and Friends could easily. You know, fix it, win, mm, fix everything, but they don't. Mm. I don't know why. Mm. Why don't they? You know, why don't they go back in time to where the Duke was before the Duke, you know, used the lantern, used the Solaris lamp and said, like, hey, yeah, don't release that thing. It's terrible. Don't do it. <laughs> you know, you know or, or take it. <clears throat> you know, take it back with them through time and put it someplace hidden where the Duke can't find it. <clears throat> you know, just like, okay, he can't find it. He can't release it. He can't trigger him with this. <clears throat> you know, done. <Dylan. clears throat> you know. It's so terrible, you know. And things. I, at first, I thought, well, after seeing some reviews and you know, seeing the reviews and being like, they can travel through time wherever they want. I think what some colleague Johnny was saying, they can travel through time wherever they want. Why don't they just fix this thing? You know, I was like, wait, wait a minute, are you sure they can? That would be ridiculous. <laughs> that would be ridiculous to be able to have that power. You know, they could do just all kinds of crazy stuff that would not make sense if they had really had the power to travel through time. So then I was looking at another play, well, I'm looking at more playthroughs and playthrough footage, of most likely Pokemon because it's hilarious. <laughs> and I see after you beat the shit out of, after Silver, uh, like I think it was like after Shadow beats well, and Omega beat Mephilus, Mephilus opens up a time portal and jumps through to escape. Mm. The Shadow and Future Omega jump through it after him, end up in the present day of Sol present day Soliana. So it's like I was like, wait a minute. Maybe Mephilus is, you know, making the time portals. And Sonic and friends are just using the Chaos Emeralds to open them and go to different places with that. But that theory went out the window <clears throat> of many incidences, but two ones that I was think I had uh, thought about that helped me figure out this part of the story. And they figure out that they do actually travel through time willingly, <laughs> you know. And the, here's how it goes. You have Sonic. You know, you have Mephilus, okay? You got, you don't know, you have these guys do stuff. I think it was one time Shadow, it was, uh, yeah, it was Shadow. Shadow, you know, was the second. You know, if Shadow basically had, you know, after be defeating Silver, Ground Eyes kicking Silver in the head, not because of Sissanam, Shadow and Silver made a, 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 a portal, Chaos Control portal, that led back, you know, and Shadow was able to somehow make it so it would go back 10 years ago to when the Duke tri triggered Iblis. I'm like, you know, Follow me to see, he basically said, follow me to see the truth <coughs> of who triggered it was, you know? And I'm like, or you know, something like that. They go in there right before the explosion, you know, blowing up the Solaris clamp, that like where Iblis and Mephilus came out, you know? Mephilus could not have made that. If he made that, then it would have been, that, that things would have been over, you know? We have in the ending game, the end of the world level right there, because basically, like, okay, you know, you could wait till his past self slinked away. Then just grab, you know, remerge with Iblis when it, right as it, you know, before it could do anything, you know, just grab it <laughs> easily, easily. But he doesn't, you know, so it wasn't it. And it was like, yeah, it was not him. <clears throat> it wasn't him. It was his portal. It was, it was theirs. Then, of course, there was an actual plot thing, another plot thing. <clears throat> Holding stuff in this position is some stuff. Well, well <clears throat> there's an actual plot thing that happened. Sonic and friends. 
uh, Sonic and Sonic and Silver uh, got through Kingdom Valley, but they were not did not get there in time to rescue Princess Elise. Maybe this is an, you know, an inside joke about how long and drawn out Kingdom Valley is. You know, mm, you know it was certainly in my like comic I made of that of the, of the game, but um, basically. You know, she, you know, it's one of the most dramatic scenes in the whole game. Sonic sees uh, the egg hair crash and burn, and you see him just, you know, fall to his knees and just like, no, me. <laughs> you know, fall to his knees and just, you know, start you know, lament, you know, mourning her death. But then Silver's like, hey, if we go back in time, we can fix this, you know? And then they, they do, you know, he, and then he, they are able to, no, they, they don't, they don't play them. You know they are able to make a portal that takes them back, takes Sonic back in time, so that he can go and save Elise. And I'm like, yeah, Memphis would not do that. Would not make a portal like that. You know, because then you know, let's, you know, because then it'd be like, okay, hey, you know, I'm, you know, he wants Elise to die. Then Elise will be released. He'll merge with it. <clears throat> you know, simple as that. So yeah, they controlled the time travel and that made so many plot holes. So many problems, and it gets even worse in the ending, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So, like, boom, all right, the lyrics, on the other hand, though, have made, yeah, definitely have some issues, you know, so with time travel, you always have issues. Uh, what's better? Because, there was, like, a big truck going by. Because, here's the deal. You have uh, a time time travel ability, ability to travel, but it's not controlled by Sonic and Friends. Or the bad guy is controlled by a computer that was working with Lyric, but now is working with, wants to work with Sonic, wants to help, wants Sonic's help to stop Lyric. Okay, so it says, yeah, you have to go back a thousand years to stop Lyric from releasing his uh, X Men Civil Army back then. So then you'll have to, he'll, then, you know, that will help the, the history, future, you know, that will help history go the way it's supposed to go. So it was really, you know, so they basically, you know, it, this computer, took them through time, you know, so made portals that sent them through time, you know, so it's like, after that was done, I was like, okay, you're done, now defeat him now, see ya, you know, so it was like, okay, you know, so I'm like, yeah, even though, of course, Shadow, you know, Knuckles and Shadow were acting like idiots, as the Shadow, uh, it was still better than Sonic 2006's middle of the story, you know, I'm sorry, yes, there were time missions, yes, there were, you know, issues with, again, frame rate glitches, story points, you know, many things like that, but still, Sonic Boom, was Rise of Lyrics, middle, story-wise, especially, was definitely better than Sonic 2006's, because there was way less plot holes, and way less of this whole thing, where it's like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. we could easily win, but we're not going to do that, because we're, 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 why not? Mm -hmm. Guys, I think, no, no, no. <clears throat> Uh, yes, and of course some people were not, you know, I think it was Nitsu Gamer, somebody was saying, didn't like how Sonic acted when he first, when he attacked Lyric, but, yeah, yeah I can understand a little bit of that, you know, he would probably been more jokey, you know, like, when Lyric attacked him, you know, have Lyric attack him, you know, to be like, I'm on the cusp of world domination, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, excuse me, he's like, hey, uh, can we talk about this, <laughs> you know, you, know, you, you, you need those sentinels, a lot of people could, you know, a lot of bad stuff could happen, you know, maybe you should just stand out, it's like, oh, I don't think so, Rah, you know, and then to be like, you know, well, I tried, <laughs> well, guess I do this the hard way, you know, and just hack it up, so yeah, having him be on a, a different, you know, like that was definitely, turn off for, for some people so yeah like i kind of understand that but again different studio <laughs> okay now let's get on to the end because i really want to go to bed <laughs> and stuff like that the end of sonic boom and the end of Sonic six both are no not really that controversial <laughs> No, no, so it moves isn't, <laughs> yeah, okay, well, some people might say it is, okay, I guess, yeah, but in a different way, Sonic 6, of course, is legendarily controversial, first, the ending level is the legend, still, still to this day, of how not to do things, first, you have the ending level, in uh, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom's ending level, of course, is really tough, the toughest puzzles around, the toughest, you know, tough, Puzzles, very easy, easy ways to die, things like that. You know, lots of enemies to fight. You know, things like that. It, it's it's can it, it be crazy. Yeah, environmental death traps. Yeah, uh, but yeah, and of course, yeah. In my opinion, in Sonic, in Sonic Boom, 
they uh, tricked you. Mm, they trick people. Yeah, because it's like you see that light, that puzzle you have to run on the tiles to uh, light up. Mm. That first time, people were like, man, this is super easy. This is stupid, man. <laughs> you know, then it's like another one comes along. You know, it's like, okay, now do that while fighting enemies. Mm. Or, you know, it's like, oh, whatever. You know, this is this is still too easy. And then it's like, okay, do it while fighting enemies and dodging lasers. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, you fuck. <laughs> you know, yeah, that, was, that, was, that was interesting. But anyway. But yeah, still, that ending level, though tough and annoying, was nothing compared to the ending level of, of Sonic 2006. In the world was the worst. You know, Gordon Dickelman, the worst Sonic level, you know, the worst ending level in any Sonic game. And I believe him, <laughs> okay? Because even though there are places where Sonic could easily die in Sonic Boom, most likely from falling, <laughs> um, or I'm getting hit too many times by the enemies. In Sonic 2006, there are these insta-kill time portals, <laughs> that old, uh, they call them, you know, we have friends call them uh, eyeballs, <laughs> they look like lizard eyeballs, <laughs> it's really weird. and they open up, and uh, they basically, you, 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 if your eye touches them, they die, <laughs> your character touches them, they die, even if they have rings, they die, and they also, of course, can suck you in, <laughs> you know, suck you and objects in, and there's, of course, ones that shoot boxes at you, at you guys. Uh, out of your guys, so it's just it's just a lot of punishment. Just a lot of bad things happening. You only get five lives. There are is like one one up per level. <laughs> There's like a few of them. So it's like it's just it's just ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> you know. And then of course you're playing as the slowest character at the first. You know, play as tails who runs who fly run slow, and then of course try as the fly, and then will drop into into a bottomless pit if you're on that energy while on top of while above one. It's, just, it's so many cool, crazy stuff, you know. It, you know, but yeah. So after yeah, but yeah, after that, after that ending, the end of the world level, and uh, you have the um resolution. Of course, I already talked about how awesome it was when you see when you saw Sonic when the lyric was like about to release his you know his, his extra signals and Sonic friends were like. The only place you're going is the junkyard, and he's like, oh, I know you're weak, Sonic. It's your friends, you know, kind of out of nowhere, but still, mm -hmm. still, it's like, no, oh, we just they're, they're a strength, and then they, you know, they do, they walk in the line, walk toward him <laughs> in slow motion you know, for the battle begins. Oh, it was so cool, and then care if the graphics did not look as good as other Sonic games, because <laughs> it was an amazing moment. Characters are okay again in Sonic, <laughs> in Sonic 3D Sonic games. Heck yeah, <clears throat> anyway, but. It's like boom, Sonic 2006. Yo, know, after Sonic, after at least kisses Sonic to bring him back to life, you know, which is weird that she survived that with Amy standing right there. <laughs> no, my comic, uh, Amy was like didn't attack for at least. But definitely wasn't liking it. <laughs> it was definitely like, oh, I'll never get used to that. <laughs> she, but she had given, realized that this, that you know, Sonic liked her. Mm, you know, she, she liked. Her. They were in love. <laughs> you know, so it's like, ah, uh, <laughs> uh, just, 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 you know, mm -hmm. just, you know, bury them, you know, bury them deep. You know, like just, oh, uh, just bury the knife in deeper. Just, oh, uh, <laughs> you know, there's just like, yeah, she's just letting him go. She has let him go. It's terrible, you know. But still. You know, it was just weird to see Amy just smiling away. I'm like, um, you do realize? <laughs> oh, well, never mind. So they, they have a final fight. Sonic's final fight. The music is amazing. And of course, yes, the, the three super hedgehogs is epic and wonderful. You know, it's like, boom, no one turned super, but it's slept and wonderful. And it was bringing back characters after you know, Sonic Town 6 messed them up. Mm. But yeah, still, both both final bosses were pretty awesome, in my opinion. Though, of course, I liked uh, Sonic Boom more. Mm. I personally liked Sonic Boom more. But yeah, mm. I think they're both really good. Mm. So yeah, that, that, was, that was one thing I liked about both the games. But after that comes the ending. Mm -hmm. And Sonic Boom, of course, wins this time, wins this one. And here's how it goes. Mm. I'll tell you next time. Mm.